Hey guys, I know I'm super late on this, but better late than never. I've been working on this video since the Smash reveal a few weeks ago, and had some fun with it. So today, I'll just be discussing my wants and thoughts for Smash on the Switch. Well first of all, the Inklings reveal was of course awesome. Though I'm really curious to see how they'll implement the character's movement using ink trails, it'll be cool if it can be used as a bait and punish tool of some sort, but that's just my speculation on the Inklings. Now in terms of mechanics, I would really like to see a brand new fundamental mechanic of some sort. In every iteration of Smash, there's been a new mechanic that changed the gameplay in a pretty big way, so I wonder what we will see in Smash 5. I'm actually hoping for a new universal action of some kind, maybe something borrowed from one of Nintendo's past games, like Footstool was. This is a long shot, but I always loved the ability to transition from 2D to 3D in Super Paper Mario. I don't know how it can be incorporated into the gameplay to fit Smash. If anything, it can only be a temporary occurrence, of course. But I'm just throwing out a crazy idea out there. Bringing things a bit more down to earth, I would really like it if we could change the direction of a foxtrot at any time during the animation, without getting the laggy skid. Right now, the window to change directions is puny. I know there is extended dash dancing, but it's not nearly as versatile as being able to change directions more freely. This is a simple change, but I feel it can make the neutral game much richer. Or really, any other addition that can broaden the movement options that we already have would be nice. Years ago, I would bury my hopes and assume Sakurai will avoid any mechanics or techniques that widens the gap between casual and competitive play. But taking into account Sakurai's more recent change in perspective, my hopes are back up again. However, there are a few properties in Smash 4 which I think should be removed, hands down. One being the unreasonable RNG elements, such as the random untackable spin animation, and the random ceiling death animation. I feel these things don't impact gameplay in any positive way. It only removes control from the players when it happens. Aside from general mechanics, I really, really want to see some past special moves make a return. More specifically, Snake Specials. Not even asking for the man himself to make a return, just his specials. Being able to plan a mine and detonate it manually is just too cool to leave out. His grenades are also another projectile which I'd also like for them to bring back. Both of these allowed for clever trap setups which only Snake could pull off. If not Snake, then I'd like to see Nintendo bring in another character whose gameplay revolves around setting up traps like that. Though besides that, a character that I was always a bit salty about not making a return is Ice Climbers. Cause I feel they're very special. I love the partner aspect to them, it was like operating a team of two, by yourself. All the creative baits and unique setups you could pull off was just awesome. Sure, they had an infinite problem, but with the grab invincibility and resets limited to 3, that shouldn't be a problem. There are a bunch of current character buffs and nerfs I'd want to see, but if I talked about them all, we'll be here for hours. So one of my most wanted one is a buff for Kirby's inhale. It's a really cool move, but I feel the speed and range kind of holds it back. Unless you catch them right in front of you, you're probably just going to get punished. Then again, I understand if it's too good, then players will just rack up damage by constantly inhaling, then exhaling. So my solution is to buff the range or the speed, but minimize the damage of exhale. So there's a bigger incentive for Kirby to steal the power instead. On a less serious note, I think it'd be funny to see the inclusion of a joke character. We only ever had one in the series. After all, Nintendo does have a bunch up their sleeves. I personally would like to see Tingle. He's hilarious and just a perfect fit for that role. Plus, he's made past appearances in the Smash series. Though I'm sure Sakurai's head is probably about to explode with the amount of character requests we all have. But this in itself brings up another issue I'm personally worried about. How big should the roster be for Smash 5? We're already at 58. New characters are always a welcome, but the last thing I want to see is a bunch of clones. Though at the same time, with every new character and new moveset they introduce, it'll be harder and harder to maintain balance, especially for a game like Smash where they have to balance the game not only for 1v1 battles, but 2v2, free-for-all, inclusion of items, etc. I personally don't have an opinion on how big the roster should be. I feel this solely depends on the devs' ability to roll out patches for the game as the meta unravels itself. 
Now getting into stages, I definitely want to see a new neutral stage concept introduced. We've already got a no platform stage, we've got triple platform stages, a moving platform, and so on. But we've never had a basic double platform stage with no transition. I'd also like to see Yoshi's Island make a return, since it was the only stationary single platform neutral stage we've ever had. A few of the stages in Smash 4 like Skyloft, Castle Siege, Wuhu Island had parts that were very neutral, and it would be great if we had the option to remove the transitions. I feel having a few more neutrals like this would add so much more depth and variety to stage selection and counterpicking, which is a huge part of what Smash's competitive gameplay is about. Now this one's more of a personal nitpick, but it'd be really nice to have an option to turn off stage backgrounds for some of the stages with full blown movies going on. Now don't get me wrong, they're no doubt beautifully done, and I commend them for the work they put in, but honestly it can be hard to see sometimes, and especially costly during a crucial moment. Or maybe I just have bad eyes, I don't know. Other changes I would like to see is a better online battle system, maybe a skill rating system that will automatically match you with players of similar skill level. I just think it's pointless when you have a veteran player paired up against a new player, and you end up having one trampling over the other. It's simply not fun for either side. Better yet, it'd be cool if they made a global hub where people can create customized games, 1v1, 2v2, 4v4, all items, whatever. And people will have the ability to filter out what type of match they want, and join any room they want. Well, that about wraps it up for me. These are just some of the things that I want to see for Smash on the Switch. What are some things that you want? Any speculations? Anyways, thanks a lot for watching, and thank you Patreons for your support. Sorry I haven't uploaded anything in a long time. I'm looking to get back into it, especially with Smash 5 coming. With that said, I'll see everyone next time.